Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. I can't say it enough. Um, typically, when I post a video on my like page, I get, I don't know, just a couple hundred views, right? And so I started doing Facebook Live, and the very first one that I, that I put out there, we got over, um, it was 33, it was over 3,100 views. So over 3,000 views, organic, on a live video. And why is that? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, Periscope beat Facebook to the punch on releasing Periscope, which is live streaming video. And um, live streaming video is a way for people to get to know you so fast, um, which is a good thing because here's, here's, you know, the old model of doing things is um, you get on someone's email list, they send you emails for two months, six months, a year, two years, three years, whatever. And then finally you're like, okay, I finally get who you are. I'm gonna take a step with you. What live stream video has done is live streaming video has completely cut through a lot of that time. So think about um, your, your favorite reality television show. Think about whatever that is. I love Big Brother. So you get a really strong sense of who these people are um, in a pretty short amount of time, right? And um, people crave, people crave real. We're tired of Photoshopped photos. In fact, Facebook even says that um, when you're putting ads and things out there that you want to use pictures of people who look real and definitely not perfect, not Photoshopped, not polished, but people who look real. Like you want to, you know, put your best foot forward, but you don't need to be a supermodel. In fact, people just, they, they scroll right over that. It's almost become white noise for us. Um, so people are craving real. They're craving um, legit. They're craving people to kind of like show me who you are. They want to know who you are because in network marketing, especially people do people, people do business with people that they know they like, and they trust. Those are the three things. They know you, they like you, they trust you. There is no faster way for people to get to know you, get to like you and get to trust you than with live streaming video. And I've been doing video for a while. I've been presenting for a while. I used to, um, you know, speak for a living. Um, you know, I was a presenter, so I did, you know, fitness certifications and things like that. And I teach group fitness classes now. So, um, speaking is one thing doing, creating a video is a whole nother thing because you have time to get it edited. You have time to, you know, polish your script. You have time to do all that stuff. Right. But what's cool about Facebook, what was cool about live streaming video, and if you're not on Facebook, then I, I, I will tell you, you could probably, you can use all these tips and use them, um, apply them to Periscope as well. But I am going to encourage you to start doing live video because they're going to get to know you faster. And trust me, it is way better for people to get to know who you are faster and to figure out quickly if they, if they trust you, if they like you, then it is to try to fit a square peg in a round hole. Do you know what I'm saying? Because your audience is probably you, who you are. Wouldn't it be cool if you could hang out with people who have the same things in common, who have the same interests? Um, I'm sure that you've all, you all know somebody who you just absolutely have nothing in common with. How painful would it be to work with that person? So your audience is you, all right? So let's talk about why live streaming is the best. First of all, like I said, people get to know you faster. People crave real, like reality shows. That's why they're all the rage. Um, and before streaming, it would take months for people to really get an idea of who you are. Um, now they can get a sense of that right away and they can be like, okay, that's my girl, right? That is my person. I like that person. I know them. I feel like they're my best friend. Um, they're not perfect. They stumble over their words, etc. Right? So that is one of the best tools that we have at our fingertips. And before you say that you're scared, I just want to tell you to do it. You know, I, um, I did an event with Shalene Johnson recently, 
Marketing Impact Academy. And she did talk about live streaming, not a ton, but I already knew that this is where I needed to go because I was already doing video. I know that videos reach people way faster than text or even pictures or anything like that. So I knew that this was the direction that I wanted to go. So when she talked about it, I was like, listening up. You know what I mean? Um, so here are four bullet points on how to create your bullets for your Facebook live video Four bullets on how to create your bullets, right? Um, on your personal video. First of all, you need to know who your audience is and I'm going to encourage you not to overthink this. Please don't. Your audience is you or where you were um, a year ago, two years for, ago, where you are now. Right now, my audience is somebody who's trying to get off baby weight, probably, because that's what I'm doing, right? But before this, my audience was people who are trying to get out of debt. So it depends on what, I'm, what, I'm, what you're speaking to, but I'm going to encourage you to frame this around the challenge groups that we're, that we're promoting and to create your bullets. So number one, but know your audience. Who are you trying to reach and help? Define that person. Is it a mom? Are they religious? Um, what do they look like? Where do they hang out? Where, you know, who is that person to you? Right? Don't spend too long on this. Just quick, like maybe three or four things. Like to me, it was like, okay, moms trying to get off baby weight. Um, and they are exhausted. Um, they don't have a lot of time and they need simple. Right? So that was me. That's, that's how I created this, this live broadcast. The second thing is what are their problems? Right? So again, I went right into, um, I'm tired. <laughs> I need a healthier way to eat because I don't have enough time to work out and I need short, quick, simple workouts. Right? So this is, this is how I formulated it. So I want, so think about what are their problems? The third thing is, is you're going to figure out what story can you incorporate of your own or maybe somebody that you know in order to create a connection because people aren't necessarily going to remember facts. They're not going to remember details, um, ingredients, like who cares about all this stuff. What they're going to remember is the story. So what's your story or what's the story of your best friend or the person, you know, that you just heard about what story can you incorporate in order to drive your point home. Okay. That's number three. And then number four is I want you to really figure out why you want to help this demographic. Why do you want to help this person? Because I used both of these things hand in hand in order to create the Facebook live video that I just put up a couple hours ago, like three and a half hours ago. And um, I just decided to do this just randomly. And I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to put this to work. I, I reviewed Shalene's notes from, from marketing impact Academy. And then I, um, followed the bullets. I did the formula and then I, I did it. I just did the live video right then and there. So, and I'll, um, I'll put that in the group too. So you guys can kind of see what I did with that. So here's the formula. Write this down. Number one, you say, hi, we're live. Okay. And what you don't want to do is call attention to the fact of if anybody's watching or not, because you're going to be able to see that. You'll be able to see if people are coming on. Forget about it. Just say, hi, we're live, right? Because it, it will live on. And as people share it and as um, other people view it, then it's going to continue to create some traction for you, okay? Um, that's number one. Easy, right? Everybody could say that. Hi, we're live. Number two, today we're talking about fill in the blank. Okay, so today we're talking about, now the fill in the blank, this is important. The fill in the blank needs to be a searchable title. Okay, so a searchable title. If you yourself were sitting down looking for, trying to find a solution to the problem that you know that your audience has, what are you going to type in? Okay, and we're going to actually, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a moment to write all of this out your, yourself while we're here on the call, but I just want to give you a brief overview and then we're going to go through it together. Um, so for instance, mine was lose baby fat. Okay. Um, because if I'm sitting down going, oh, I need to get off this baby fat or you got this baby weight. 
then what am I going to type in to a search term? How to lose baby weight, right? So you want to say, today we're talking about how to lose baby weight. Today we're talking about how to understand portion control. Today we're talking about how to get out of debt, okay? So it's a searchable term. It probably starts with the words how to, right? So today we're talking about how to fill in the blank. Whatever that thing is that your customer is searching for, your perfect person. Number three, then you go into your introduction with some credibility, okay? So mine today was, um, hi, my name is Holly Hireman, and I've been in fitness for 16 years. I've been doing online coaching for eight years, and I'm a mom, okay? So your credibility could be, um, so today we're talking about how to get out of debt. Um, hi, my name is Holly Hireman, and I was able to pay off $50,000 in credit card debt in two years, whatever your credibility is. Um, maybe you're like, but I don't have a success story. I don't have a great credibility. Then here's what you go with. Hey, my name is Holly Hireman, and I am a stay-at-home mom, and I love to help people figure stuff like this out, okay? Whatever it is, your credibility, who are you, and where, how, how, how are you going to help me? Have you been there, done that? Are you on the journey too? Do you like to help other people with this? Okay, so that's, that's what that is. Number four, you ask them to share. If you know anybody who's on this journey right now, please share this on your page right now. Please share this with that person. So you ask for the share. That's step four. Step five is the story. This might take you, um, this will probably take you the most amount of time to formulate because you want to hit on certain parts of the story that are going to speak to your message. Okay. So, um, my story, I included, um, basically how, when my first son was born, um, I really needed to lose 40, the 45 pounds. I actually think I gained 50 with him, but I, I said 45 in the video. 45 pounds that I gained with him, but I was really struggling. I had some postpartum. I was awake every two hours because he had to eat every two hours. He was a small baby. Um, I was like running low on sleep, running low on time. Couldn't spend a lot of time in the gym, right? So I developed my story from there. So what is your story? What, which one are you going to implement? Hopefully it's something, maybe it's not yours. Maybe it's your, your friend, right? So if I'm talking to somebody who um, is pre-diabetic, then I tell them about my father and his success with Shakeology because he was pre-diabetic before he got on Shakeology. Um, if I'm talking to somebody who has, um, oh, what is that? What is that? Uh, um, MS. If I'm talking to somebody who has MS, then I tell them about um, my friend. Her husband, Cream, had MS so bad that when he first started working out um, and drinking Shakeology that he had to do the workouts literally sitting on a chair or on his knees because he couldn't stand. So you, you find the story that matches with, um, with the, the audience that you're trying to reach. Okay. That's point. That's number five. Number six is your point. So what's your point? Hopefully that is to um, invite them to a challenge group. So if you use that as the framework and then build around it, because that's kind of what I did. I worked backwards. I was like, my point is I want people to ask for information for this challenge group. That's what I want them to do. And I'm not going to call it a challenge group. I'm just calling it an online boot camp. So um, I, then, then you make your point, right? So I went into my story. Then I said, here I am a couple years later. I need to lose 30 pounds now. And I'm going to go into the same thing, the same things that worked for me. Meal, um, you know, portion control, drinking a daily shake, you know, short, easy to follow workouts and simple, simple plan, accountability, online fitness groups. So boom, 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 right? That's how, I, that's how I created my point. Number seven is your summary. So you could go back and summarize exactly what your point is. Number eight, this is so important. Don't skip this. Your call to action. Your call to action will probably be, send me a message right now. Close this video and send me a message right now. I want to know 
how I can help you. I want to know if you want some information on this boot camp that I have coming up. Okay? That's your call to action. And then the last thing is you can tell them, would you tell them bye? See you soon and check the notifications and you can follow me on my journey too. Okay? So it's just bye bye. Check notifications for future videos from me. Simple. All right? Know your audience. So I want you to jot down a couple of things. Who, who is your audience? Male, female, what age are they? What are they trying to accomplish? The second thing, what are their problems? Because people don't know that they need what we have to offer them until we help them, until we speak to their problems and even possibly their objections. Okay, so maybe um, their problem is they've tried everything, right? Um, maybe they're diabetic. Maybe, what is it? What, what's, what's their problem? Your audience, what's their problem? For me, in this phase of my life, um, it's, it's, you know, I'm going after new moms who want to get rid of the baby weight. And you really only need to know, like, maybe one or two problems that they have, right? Number three, what story can you incorporate Could, to kind of address those problems, like how you solve that problem, or maybe you know somebody who solved that problem, or um, something like that. And I'm gonna encourage you to, um, I would avoid using Beachbody terms, because just in case they've had a bad experience with Beachbody before, or um, maybe they have a coach that's kind of been breathing down their neck. So I, I encourage you not to use Beachbody terms, um, I encourage you to use, you know, that's why I say online boot camp. I never say challenge group because I want people to get to know me without any um, blinders on. Do you know what I mean? So what story can you incorporate? I'll give you a few seconds to write that down. And you don't have to formulate your story now. Just kind of know what it is. Like for me, I was like, okay, how did I lose the weight from Luke? When, after I had Luke, how did I do that? So I just quickly jotted down a couple things, you know, that brought to my mind. And I went back to that, to that moment of, gosh, what was I thinking? What was I feeling? What were my problems, right? Because you want to get in the mind of the person that's on the other end. Because they're there. They're in it, right? Or maybe you're in it right now, too. And you're you're sharing like, oh, I'm depressed. I, I've never been this big in my life. Um, but you know what? There's a way out and I'm going to do this and I want you to come with me, right? So always have an upside. Don't just vomit on people, your problems, right? Always have an upside, have an upswing, right? You got to put a positive light on it. And then the fourth part um, that you got to do first, um, this is like kind of your homework, is to, why, why do you want to help this person? Why do you want to help these people? Of course, you know the financial benefits. But honestly, like, why? What, what's, what's in it for you other than some money, right? For every live video that you do. Literally write this out. Number one, hi, we're live. Okay, if you haven't done that yet, do that now, please. Because you're going to say that. Or what's up, everyone? We're live. Whatever. This is a live video. Or this is my first live video, and I'm kind of terrified. So I hope that you are nice or something. Whatever. Just be yourself. Okay. Can't I can't stress that enough. Be yourself. Um, two. Literally write out today. We are talking about how to. And then there's your searchable title. Okay. And by a searchable title, I mean 
if you're sitting in that mindset, you're the one that's searching for an answer, you're the one that's going to sit down. What are you going to type into that search bar? Um, how to lose weight without exercise. That's a huge one, right? 21 day fix. Hello. You don't have to exercise. Um, how to lose weight if I'm disabled. How to lose weight over 60. Um, whatever. What's your searchable title? That's number two. Number three. My name is and now insert your credibility. What is it? I'm a mom. I um, have worked for corporate my whole life. I'm a teacher. I love to help people, whatever. Whatever your credibility is, you can you can put one or two things in there, um, super quick, whatever it is. Number four is this is where you ask for the share. It's pretty simple, right out, just just write out. If you know anyone else who needs this, please share. If this sounds interesting to you, please share. Okay, you just ask for it. Quick, so quick. Don't spend a lot of time on that one. Number five is your story. Okay, so now hopefully you kind of understand what that is. And like I said, this is where you're gonna you're gonna have to bullet out the story a little bit. I'm going to give you 30 seconds on that one. Number six is your points. So this is kind of like the solution, right? So you tell the story. Now you're providing the solution, the information, right? I'm running an online nutrition boot camp. We're gonna get your um, food in order. We're gonna get your workouts in order. We're gonna get whatever, right? So uh, to me, that was, that's what I did. I talked about um, daily shake, meal plan, um, short workouts. To me, that was, you know, that was something that was addressing the problem that I had, right? Um, and it's all done online. It's all done online. Super easy. You're going to get accountability support. So your points, your story, your message, your, that's where you're basically inviting them in order to do this. Uh, number eight is the call to action and the call to action is, um, maybe it's comment below if you want information or maybe the call to action is send me a message. I, I personally like send me a message or you can say send me a message or comment below or click the like button because then you kind of know when people are interacting with you and when you tell them to comment below, it's actually going to show your video to more people, which is good. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Side note, side note, oh yeah, so that, please write out your call to action, sorry. Your call to action, whatever you're gonna tell them to do, either comment below, send me a message now, um, something like that. Number nine, you say thanks for watching. And check for notifications for more videos from me or whatever. You can say that or you can just say, thanks for watching, bye. Whatever you like, okay? So it's kind of like your clothes, letting people know that you're done. It is so easy. And I wanna show you guys literally like what I did. 
So what I did was I wrote out just the bullets. This is probably going to show up backwards too. But here we go. My first bullet was live. So I knew to say, hi, we're live. This is probably backwards for you. And it says, um, today we're talking about how to lose baby weight. And I, I, I wrote this out. And then what I did was I put my, my phone up on the tripod like this. And, or actually a lot of times what I'll do is I will tape my bullet points to the bottom of my phone when I'm filming. And that way, as I'm, as I'm talking, um, I can just look down real quick. Only a bullet guys. Cause if you try to read, it's going to look horrible. And it's going to sound even worse. Okay. So if I lose my spot, I know I've got my safety net, right? Cause it's a lot to remember. I don't expect you to remember it. So I like just typically what I'll do, even when I'm filming videos, actually, this is what I do. I, I tape my bullets of the video that I'm filming to the bottom of my phone. And then I just go for it. I just push status and then underneath photo video comes up. It says live video. There is a little person with like a, um, like a, I don't know this, a circle, two circles over their head like this. Right? So there's a person that looks like that. It says live video. Then you click that button that says live video. And the first thing that comes up, is this going to say, it says, describe your live video at the very bottom. Oh, I wish you could see that. I wish you could see it. I wish you could see it. There we go. At the very bottom, it says, describe your live video. That's where you type in your searchable term. Okay. So whatever you decided, your searchable term is today. We're going to talk about, right? That's where you type in how to lose baby weight. Right. And then you click the button that says go live and you go, Oh my God, what just happened? Right? Cause you have to do it. <laughs> you gotta do it. And, um, obviously you want to make sure that the, the screen is pointing and looking at you. <laughs> okay, please. So make sure that's it. Hold your, hold your phone vertical like this. Don't turn it sideways. Don't be crazy. Don't be funky. Hold it up and down in the upright manner. When you film, you push the go live button and then it'll count down. It goes like three, two, one, you're like, Ooh. and then you start, hi, we're live, right? And who cares? Hardly anybody's doing this. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Facebook will show your video to more people because they want to dominate in the video space. So they are going to show your video to more and more and more people. And it's, the, it's getting the most reach right now. So I'm going to encourage you to do that. Okay, guys, that is it.